Hey guys, so as you can see by the title, this is going to be a Big Lot sugar haul. <laughs> um, I have been craving uh, sweets, not really craving to be honest, but I just want it. And I feel like because of the diabetic, diabetes thing and the dieting thing, I can't have it and it's just, it makes me want it even more. So I have been doing some research and I, you know, I know dark chocolate has very low has less sugar but dark chocolate is actually good for you for weight loss according to some research and it has no sugar so I figured I'm gonna get rid of the dark chocolate um, Big Lot had dark chocolate uh, bars for like a dollar eighty cents so I went up there and I was surprised to find these it has 36% um, cocoa in it as you see low carb um, it's good for diabetics. It's got a low glycemic. It's a low glycemic product. It only has two grams of sugar in it. There is no added sugar, and they taste delicious. It. I. I ate one whole bar. I shouldn't have, because a bar is three and a half servings. <laughs> but I ate it because it was so freaking delicious, and I just. I broke off a piece, and I just was like, it's got to have an apple because it's got to have something in there because. That's, it just doesn't make sense that it has nothing going on with it. But it doesn't. It tastes like just really good chocolate. Um, this is another product I like. I love Lent. And it had, they only had the 70% cocoa. I was looking for something closer to 80. I know that would have been way, way better. But it has less sugar in it. And that would have been better. This has 12 grams of sugar. Which is okay. So I'm going to eat this sparingly. Um... It's, it's delicious too. I had one of those. I also purchased um, these dark chocolate cashew pops. Um, it has 8 grams of sugar in it. Yeah, I forgot to mention the um, servings and the calories. It's 186 calories for a quarter of a cup. Um, this bag serves four, and they're really good. They're nice size. I'm going to show you. bite size chews. They're really nice. These are going to be in. Why we haven't, why are we, <laughs> why are we not eating yet? But we're not eating that. Um, these have, um, this has a lot more calories. This is 250 calories for four squares. And, but the squares are pretty good. Pretty good size. So you get four squares, 250 calories, and you can do two squares for 125. So, you know, and since you're not, you know, you shouldn't eat, you probably should break this into fours and just break it up and eat it, you know, throughout the day. Because it's probably throughout the day for weight loss. Um, this is just awesome. All of these. This is three and a half servings for this one bar is 120 calories. So, if you eat this whole bar, you will regret it. I'm going to let you know that right now. <laughs> um... I heard, uh, I saw a, a video where another YouTuber um, with diabetes was using this. They said it tastes awesome. And their coffee and teas and for cooking and everything. And basically, it isn't sugar. It is, um, now I forgot what it was. I'm not sure it was. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I wanted to read it. It has a low glycemic index to it, so... Um, I'm excited to try this in the morning. It does have 60 calories for a serving, which is a tablespoon. So I'm hoping I can use maybe half a tablespoon or a third. I don't really know how much of this I have to use um, in my coffee or my tea. Mm. But I'm using it in the morning for my coffee. And um, yeah, that's what I got from Big Lots. Not much. Um, I also bought a book, but it has nothing to do with my food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just I needed a new book to write my bills down and just to write in. Um, so this is what I got. I had a, a sugar rush. I was I just wanted something sweet. I'm actually oh did I get too many? I actually um, plan on going back to get some more of these because I only bought two, thinking that um, I wasn't sure how they were going to taste. And if you don't know, Big Lots 
only carry um certain items for a certain period of time. I mean, they don't. It's not like it, that if I go back in two weeks to get another bar, they're probably going to be sold out, and if they won't have any more. So since these don't expire until May of next year, I'm going to purchase a couple and put them in the deep freezer. Um, Cause I love my chocolate frozen, but just put it away. That way I can use have them over the next few months and be able to treat myself when I want something. So that's it. I d I'm not gonna do a weigh-in yet. I am planning on doing a weigh-in by Sunday. So look for that video if you want to see. Um, that um, I did weigh myself today and I was really excited but I'm not sure if my scale is right because this little man was playing with it it's not excessive weight loss it's just actually a little bit more than what I really was expecting to lose I'm really happy with that I'm hoping that's true <laughs> so we, I will see um, I'm going to actually weigh myself uh, again in a little bit because I'm going to go to the gym and um as soon as he goes to sleep, my daughter will watch him while I go to the gym. Yeah. She's watching him be naughty. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's my haul. And my, so far my diet is going well. I'm using my fitness file pretty um, regular now. Um, I think I've been on there 10 days straight <laughs> so far. And my exercising is getting better. I am up to an hour and a half a day. Um, with the exception that, you know, a few days I might have a little bit more and a few days I have a lot, a little less or a lot less, but I'm up to about an hour and a half of working out. Um, I haven't quite made the two hour mark, but once I hit the two mark, two hour mark, my goal will be to go to three. I don't know. I'm not going to try to work out the whole day, but two hours, two to three hours is where I want to be. I definitely want to hit the two hour mark. And I haven't gotten there yet. And it's not from um, not trying. It's just I have a really busy life. Just all these little kitties. So that's it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.